So hello and welcome to another video and today as you can see we're on Major B19 once again and we're here at Aragon for the last the first challenge. Interestingly enough Rins and Rossi 1 and 2 again so it's a bit interesting but today we are playing as someone a bit different. It's going to look pretty similar in a second when it goes on to us but as you'll see by the title of the thumbnail we are playing as Mika Kallio today I'll see. Zarko has been dropped by KTM immediately and Mikhail will be riding in his place. Unfortunately obviously it's still got the face of Zarko here on the mod. Not really a lot I can do about that to be honest. I might try and get a generic face like one of the uh, custom rider faces in instead of Zarko maybe. But for now it is still Zarko so we'll change the rear tyre put it on a hard rear tyre and let's get straight into the race. Obviously it's going to be a bit difficult because the KTM is not an ideal bike at all to be riding so it's going to be really hard to get to the field. Nice and away we go. Bit of wheels spin off the line there. Wow, Abram, fantastic. Start looking to go to the outside. Oh, everyone's checking up a bit on the inside. A few riders there. Up into 15th place. It's actually been a pretty decent start. More, not more than Danny Petrucci's pretty far down the other He's here with Lorenzo. Quattararo as well. He's just cut, cut up the inside. Up into 12th place. Going outside of Carlos, check a corner. We ran a bit wide. Side by side with Quattararo. Past Quattararo now. Sire in up in 10th place. Having the race of his life there. Oh, trying to ground out. Oh, Quattararo is still there. Quattararo, uh, Quattararo locked the front there. Quattararo had the front locked at full lead and he didn't lose the front. How did he get away with that? Here we go on the inside of Miller. Mika Calio making these aggressive moves. I've sat Miller up here. Oh, so I think Calio wild carded here in 2017, was it? And he absolutely he did amazingly. Whoa, Quattararo back on the inside again, but we're back on the inside of Quattararo around the outside, but he's probably going to get it back. Yes, Quattararo back through. And back on the inside of Quattararo we go once again. Round wide and Quattaro is back on the inside so Quattararo really not wanting to let this one go. We're up into 11th place once again. So we're not even top KTM yet because Siren is still in 10th in front of us and we are closing up on him massively. Yes, we have to slow down a little bit too much there. Alacious Bagra having another good race in P9 as well. He also seems to do well in these challenges. Siren getting a bit of wheel spin on the inside of Siren. We go. We're going to get stopped uh, ish. So we're through but we've run wide through turn 15. That's going to allow Siren back through. He's got, oh, he's really had some wheel spin onto the kerb there. So we're pulling alongside Siren because he's had a bad run. Past him we go. So into 10th place now. Alacious Bagro is the next target. So obviously the teammate to our, uh, the brother to our teammate. So I managed to mess that up. We've got a bit wide. Is Siren going to get through? No. I was in the wrong gear for that corner though. I should have been in second really. Marquez leads Crutchlow second. Ross and Bird wins fourth. Dobby fifth and Gala sixth. Mir in seventh there. You see Mir using the number 36. So I believe when Calio joins, we'll be using the number 66 because that's what he's been using in testing. When he's been making any testing appearances this season. So uh, that's what I've gone with anyway. Uh, another important thing to note, I can't, re I can't release this really because I haven't, I haven't made the helmet. So uh, I can't with good conscience release that using someone else's work. Made by Speedster. Long time ago, I think it was made for GP17 but I converted it over. Uh, if you're watching and you're fine with me using the helmet, just let me know and I can upload it for everyone. But again, same the other way, if you don't want me to use it, that's absolutely fine, of course. I fully respect that and I won't upload it. Ran a wide though, I was talking about that. So perhaps should uh, get my focus back on the gameplay rather than the uh, sort of how the mod is. Spagro out on the curbs. Can't be too good for him, getting some stream off him. Here we go to the left hand side. Look at the ninth place now. Who is the next target? Takaki Nakagami. I feel like he's going to come back up the inside though. Spagro. No, he's not. We used the right gear this time, so we didn't lose so much time. Marcus is a 48 0. What are we going to do up towards the line? 47 9. So we are lapping quickest on the track. Go for the move on Nakagami. No messing about. Now, if Ram White though, he's going to cut back underneath, surely. Yes, he is. So up into 8th place, once again goes Nakagami, back down to 9th, but Mika Kallio. Oh, we're closer through Carlos Checker corner though, almost into the back of uh, Takaki. Oh, we have gone into the back of him now, I'm, gonna try, I'm trying to get off him, we've got a bit stuck on him there. We've gone wide, it's going to probably allow Spagro back through, not quite. Nakagami's got a bit of time into us now. Here we go, out on 
onto the strike. We've got an amazing run. We passed Akagami just because we got on the pass so early. Now behind Mir. We're going to get some such off Mir. We might have to try and overtake him into the braking zone. We're having a look. Oh, let's back out that one a bit late. So we might lose the place to a Spagaro. Not a Spagaro, sorry, Nakagami. Around the outside of Nakagami we go. We're going to keep it on the circuit just about. So we got past him. This is a 47.8, so he's lapped quicker than us a little bit on that lap, but it wasn't Marquez. And we've got plenty of laps, or oh, the front of this KTM is feeling dreadful on the brakes. The rear is pushing the front a lot, so you'll have that in mind. I think that's why I'm locking the rear so much. The rear is probably pretty sensitive to locking, things like that. But we are up into 8th place now. Oh, close up on Mir. Go around the outside of Mir. Yeah, we're not getting that stopped at all. Wheelie out of the corner to boot. So unfortunately we've got to stay behind for now. Into the front straight. Oh, closing on there, closing, closing, closing. Up the inside we go. Yeah, we're gonna have to probably Oh, we just kept on the track. But it's annoying we keep uh, making these mistakes when we're trying to get past them, but it's a losing time. Oh, we're going for what we did on Miller on the first lap. Really desperate now to try and get past Mir. Here we are, closing on him. On the inside we go. Oh, is he going to get back? Side by side we go. Oh, I almost contact. He sits up massively there. Unfortunately, our lines sort of just went into each other. Didn't intend to do that, but we are past him now. Always seems like the moves end up being aggressive. We're not going to be able to do anything here, though, I don't think. But we might have a look. Oh, the front is limited here. And Yala's back through. But are we going to have the drive to go around the outside? Around the outside we go, fast up to Marquez. And then fast up to me myself by about four tenths there. Close on Rins, close on Rins, we hit Rins. There we go, we didn't hit him quite. Just avoided him. Close up on Rins, on the inside we go. Oh, we sat him up a bit like we did to Mir, but a completely different scenario. We sort of sat him up. He just didn't see us in the last second. So we're over to fifth now. Valentino is next, he's a bit of a gap to him. And you can see the two leaders are way too far in front. Not going to catch them. But we might be able to have a go at Valentina. Maybe Dovi. We've got 1.7 seconds to just to Rossi. And Dovi uh, has been quicker the whole race. It's just Rossi's been doing fantastically to keep in mind. And since he's got in front a lap ago, he's pulled away quite a bit. So Dovi is pretty quick. Right, so out. On this corner now, we've got a pretty good run on Valentino. Are we able to do what we did to Vinales earlier on at the last corner? We've got the such stream. Here we go, at the inside of Valentino. We aren't going to get this stopped easily. Well, we've actually sort of got it stopped. He comes back up the inside, but are we going to get the run? That's a lift there, because he kind of blocked us. Around the outside, we go towards the line. Now breaking him into turn one. We're up into that fourth position. So KTM are going to be very happy with that. Obviously Calio on his first ride as a full-time rider. So here we come then into the last corner. Nothing changed at the front. They all stayed in the same order. Dobby couldn't quite catch up and I don't know why Crutcher didn't have a go at Marquez. He should have had at least one go, you would have thought, but he didn't even try. But towards the line we go. P4 as Mika Calio. I think KTM will be pretty happy with that one. While the riders complete their victory lap and return to Park Ferme, let's take a look at the final ranking of today's race. So if you look at the sort of the lap times, Dovi was clearly the fastest rider in that race because he pumped out a few fastest laps I saw. But um, Rossi kept him behind for such a long time that he was just too far away to do anything. In the end, he was only seven tenths behind Marquez, so he was pretty close to him. Crutchlow kind of just was there. He had, he had a faster, fastest lap than Marquez, but I suppose that would be down to Slipstream. Yeah, and then to be 5.2 seconds off the lead. Not too bad, we were only probably about 3 points something off the lead going into the last lap, but I, I just uh, I just slowed down so much 
on the last lap. I don't want to risk crashing, I don't want to, you know, like an idiot, just fight like losing it on the last lap and losing the place of Valentino or whatever. So I just slowed down. And Valentino did close up quite a bit, but we're actually keeping behind, which was always always nice there. So uh, yeah, fourth place, pretty happy with that one. Obviously we couldn't we couldn't run with the front guys. Uh, if we look at the lap times, if we'd had clean air the whole race, for sure. Me, it, the race would have been between the four of us at the front, I'm sure of it. And I probably could have come out on top. But obviously I lost so much time, probably, especially with Mir, really, because I sat behind Mir for two or three laps, I think. And uh, same with Rins. So the two Suzukis were difficult to pass. Rossi and Mignola is relatively easy to pass, I suppose. Dakagami as well, lost a bit of time on them. Just, uh, it took me a few laps to get into the groove as well, so I couldn't quite do it. But uh, like I said, I, well actually I don't even know how to do this one, but I hope you have enjoyed that one. Um, it was a pretty good race, it was more insane than the previous one, obviously we got to the front within four laps and that's it, we were gone. Whereas this time we were pushing through the pack. Basically, it's another example of sort of the difference in the AI from track to track, although the KTM did not feel very good and it's definitely not built for this track, I can say that at least. But uh, like I said, I hope you have enjoyed this one, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I shall see you in the next one. Today's result was very positive, as you can tell from the mechanics reaction in the pit. Of course, there's still a little more to go to make the podium, but they are definitely on the right path.